In order to pay for their very survival, Lamborghini have now sold their soul to Audi. And the question is, can they continue the blood rush of the past with the Murcielago? Visually, it inherits much of the Diablo's lines, but they've been tidied up. Its narrow waistline has been filled in, the rebellious look tamed down a little. It's still a stunning machine, but it's not so much of a teenage tearaway. It's grown up on the outside, and the same can be said for the inside. You still enter via the evocative scissor doors, but you're no longer greeted by a schoolboy's bedroom filled with bits of carbon fibre and clumsy plastic switchgear. Instead, you're surrounded by discreet two-tone leather. But any worries that the Lambos got any quieter are silenced by a twist of the key. <laughs> V12 Harmony is just the sweetest sound an engine can make. Not bad for a company that started out building tractors. Unfortunately, if you want to make a rapid getaway, you're more likely to be greeted by the stench of slipping clutch than the aroma of burning rubber. Because since the early Diablos, four-wheel drive has been a Lamborghini trait. And now they've gone and added insult to injury by installing traction control. This may be the first Lamborghini to have a six-speed gearbox, but you'll never need two of them because the 7,800 RPM red line is good enough for nearly 90 miles an hour in second. I have to admit that in everyday use, you wouldn't really know it was four-wheel drive. In a straight line or on the exit of some corners, the variable system will put 95% of the torque to the rear wheels. But it still only does it when it wants to, even with the traction control switched off. You need to be patient with the throttle before flooring it and letting the Murciela go dance. The famous V12 engine now sits some two inches lower in the chassis to help with the handling and has been stretched from 6 to 6.2 litres, raising the power to 570 bhp. The Mercy Elego will take you to 60 in just four seconds and on to 205 miles an hour, should you so wish. And it will also relieve you of £158,000 for the pleasure of doing it. Glorious though it is, the Murcielago has lost some of the raw passion of its parents. There's not even a rear-wheel drive option anymore. It's joined the ranks of supercars suitable for everyday use, which is what Lambo intended all along. Mm -hmm.